Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this tutorial I will teach you network cabling and its use. Let's start the video. Network Cable A network cable, also called an Ethernet cable, is simply a cable that connects your desktop, laptop, game console, or other device to your network's router. This is called hardwiring your device to the network, and was common before Wi-Fi became the standard and allowed wireless connections. A lot of devices have an Ethernet port on them, which allows them to connect using this standard cable type. An Ethernet cable has the same connector at both ends. You can see in this figure a network cable is going to connect with laptop. Types of network cabling Most network cables are designed to connect a computer to a router or switch. Ethernet cables come in a range of types that are defined by the Electronic Industries Association and Telecommunications Industry Association. Like Network Cable Unshielded Twisted Pair UTP, Category 6, commonly abbreviated to CAT6 is one of the most common type cable used in networking. And fiber optic cable is used for long distance communication. These are fiber optical cables and these are UTP cables. Types of twisted pair cables. Twisted pair cables come in either solid or stranded variations, which refers to the copper conductor found within the cable. Solid best suited to long horizontal lengths. They are more robust and durable, making them an ideal choice for exteriors, building into walls and for permanent installations. Stranded. More of a bendable category type and suitable for portable uses and cabling that requires more flexibility. Use a stranded type if the cable will be moved around often. There are two types of twisted pair cables. Unshielded twisted pair. UTP these generally comprise of wires and insulators. Shielded twisted pair, STP they have a braided wired mesh that encases each pair of insulated wires. Unshielded twisted pair UTP and shielded twisted pair, STP. A twisted pair cable has four pair of wires. These wires are twisted around each other to reduce cross stock and outside interference. This type of cabling is common in current LANs. Twisted pair cabling can be used for telephone and network cabling. It comes in two versions, UTP, unshielded twisted pair, and STP, shielded twisted pair. The difference between these two is that an STP cable has an additional layer of insulation that protects data from outside interferences. You can see in this figure. Each pair of wire twisted with each other to reduce cross stock and outside interference. Here is UTP cable and here is STP cable. STP cable has an additional layer of insulation that protects data from outside interferences. Types of unshielded twisted pair, UTP. Unshielded twisted pair, UTP, divided in following categories. CAT5 cables. This type of cable is considered the most popular of the twisted pair Ethernet cable types and consists of four pairs of copper wires. The fifth generation twisted pair Ethernet technology enables fast speeds of up to 100 Mbps megabit per second, to be achieved. CAT5 cables are restricted to a maximum run length of 100 meters. Here is CAT5 cable. CAT6 cables. This type of cable is known as the sixth generation of the twisted pair Ethernet cabling, and consists of four pairs of copper wires, as with the CAT5 category. CAT6, however, makes full use of all four pairs of copper wiring, and can achieve speeds of up to 1 Gbps, gigabit per second, and boasts twice the speed of CAT5 e cables. This type of cable also supports Gigabit Ethernet due to its high performance, with an enhanced type available, CAT6, that can achieve speeds of up to 10 Gbps Gigabit per second. CAT6 cables be restricted to a maximum run length of 100 meters. Here is CAT6 cable. 
Types of Shielded Twisted Pair STP. Due to Ethernet cables being twisted, shielding can help to protect cables even further. Shielded cables are more suitable for cables that are run outdoors or inside walls, where there is high interference, whereas unshielded cables are suitable for interior domestic use. Shielded Twisted Pair STP, divided in following categories. CAT7 Cables Category 7 Cable, more commonly known as a CAT7 cable, is a type of high-end data transfer patch cable used in delivering the core infrastructure of wired gigabit Ethernet setups. It's a shielded twisted pair cable, used principally in achieving high-speed Ethernet connections at data transfer rates of 1 gigabit per second or higher between directly linked servers, switches, and computer networks. Here is CAT7 cable, it's a shielded twisted pair cable and shielding can help to protect cables. Ethernet sends data over UTP cables, the physical means to send the data uses electricity that flows over the wires inside the UTP cable. To better understand how Ethernet sends data using electricity, break the idea down into two parts, how to create an electrical circuit and then how to make that electrical signal communicate ones and zeros. First, to create one electrical circuit, Ethernet defines how to use the two wires inside a single twisted pair of wires, as shown in figure. An electrical circuit requires a complete loop, so the two nodes, using circuitry on their Ethernet ports, connect the wires in one pair to complete a loop, allowing electricity to flow. Here is node 1 and here is node 2. Node 1 is transmitter and node 2 is receiver. Here we are using same pair of wire. It will complete the electrical signal. To send data, the two devices follow some rules called an encoding scheme. The idea works a lot like when two people talk using the same language, the speaker says some words in a particular language, and the listener, because she speaks the same language, can understand the spoken words. With an encoding scheme, the transmitting node changes the electrical signal over time, while the other node, the receiver, using the same rules, interprets those changes as either zeros or ones. Network Cable Standards The two standards for wiring Ethernet cables are T568A and T568B. T568B is the most common standard for Ethernet cable. The tables below show the proper orientation of the colored wires to the pins. It is T568B standard. 1. White orange. 2. Orange. 3. White green. 4. Blue. 5. White blue. 6. Green. 7. White brown. And. 8. Brown. It is T568A standard. 1. White green. 2. Green. 3. White orange. 4. Blue. 5. White blue. 6. Orange. 7. White brown. And. 8. Brown. Straight through. Straight through cables connection are shown in figure below. These cables often known as patch cables and are used to connect different types of devices. For example, a computer to a router. An Ethernet straight through cable connects the wire at pin 1 on one end of the cable to pin 1 at the other end of the cable, the wire at pin 2 needs to connect to pin 2 on the other end of the cable, pin 3 on one end connects to pin 3 on the other, and so on. In straight through cable, both side of connectors has same arrangement of wires as you can see in this figure. First pin is white orange and second pin is orange. And other side has same connection. Crossover cables. The crossover cable pinout crosses the pair at the transmit pins on each device to the receive pins on the opposite device. The two switches both transmit on the pair at pins 3 and 6, and they both receive on the pair at pins 1 and 2. So, the cable must connect a pair at pins 3 and 6 on each side to pins 1 and 2 on the other side, connecting to the other node's receiver logic. 
In crossover cable, one side of connectors has different arrangement of wires and other side has different arrangement of wires. As you can see in this figure, first pin is white green and second pin is green. And other side first pin is white orange and second pin is orange. Fiber optical cable. A fiber optic cable is a network cable that contains strands of glass fibers inside an insulated casing. They're designed for long distance, high performance data networking, and telecommunications. Compared to wired cables, fiber optic cables provide higher bandwidth and transmit data over longer distances. Fiber optic cables support much of the world's internet, cable television, and telephone systems. To use fiber with Ethernet switches, you need to use a switch with either built-in ports that support a particular optical Ethernet standard, or a switch with modular ports that allow you to change the Ethernet standard used on the port. Figure shows different types of fiber optical cables. Fiber optic cables construction. A fiber optic cable consists of one or more strands of glass, each only slightly thicker than a human hair. The center of each strand is called the core, which provides the pathway for light to travel. The core is surrounded by a layer of glass called cladding that reflects light inward to avoid loss of signal and allow the light to pass through bends in the cable. The two outer layers of the cable protect the interior of the cable and make the cables easier to install and manage, while the inner cladding and core work together to create the environment to allow transmission of light over the cable. Here is core. Core is surrounded by a cladding. Cladding covered by coating. And here is strength member. An outside jacket of the cable. How fiber optic cables work. A light source, called the optical transmitter, shines a light into the core. Light travels down a fiber optic cable by bouncing repeatedly off the walls. Each tiny photon, particle of light, bounces down the fiber optical cable. But if light hits glass at a really shallow angle, less than 42 degrees, it reflects back in again as though the glass were really a mirror. This phenomenon is called total internal reflection. It's one of the things that keeps light inside the fiber optical cable. You can see in the figure. Light is enter into the fiber optical cable at an angle less than 42 degree. And light is reflected in forward direction and travel to other side of the cable. Types of fiber optical cables. There are three common types of fiber optic cables, as listed below. The suitability of each type for a particular application depends on the fiber optic cable's characteristics. One single mode. Two multi mode. Three plastic optical fiber. Single mode cable. Single mode cable is a single stand of glass fiber with a diameter of 8.3 to 10 microns that has one mode of transmission. Single mode fiber with a relatively narrow diameter, through which only one mode will propagate typically 1310 nanometers or 1550 nanometers. Single mode fiber gives you a higher transmission rate and up to 50 times more distance than multi mode, but it also costs more. Single mode fiber has a much smaller core than multi mode. The small core and single light wave virtually eliminate any distortion that could result from overlapping light pulses, providing the least signal attenuation and the highest transmission speeds of any fiber cable type. Here is figure of single mode fiber cable. In single mode fiber cable only one light wave is travel at one time. Multi mode cable. Multi-mode cable is made of glass fibers, with a common diameters in the 50 to 100 micron range for the light carry component, the most common size is 62.5. Multi-mode fiber gives you high bandwidth at high speeds over medium distances. Light waves are dispersed into numerous paths, or modes, as they travel through the cable's core typically 850 or 1300 nanometers. Typical multi-mode fiber core diameters are 50, 62.5, and 100 micrometers. However, in long cable runs, greater than 3000 feet 914.4 ml, 
multiple paths of light can cause signal distortion at the receiving end, resulting in an unclear and incomplete data transmission. Here is figure of multi-mode fiber cable. In multi-mode fiber cable we can send more than one light wave at one time. Plastic optical fiber. Plastic optical fiber cabling may be the better choice for networking with infrastructure runs of up to 80 meters that connect to switch and wall plate converters. It is ideal for business, home, student housing, apartments, and condos. Plastic optical fiber has a much larger core diameter compared to both single mode fiber and multi mode fiber, commonly 980 microns over 1000 microns. Although this results in lower data rates, hundreds of megabits per seconds and reach, the big advantage is cost. The large core means the accuracy of alignment between the LED driver and fiber is less critical, to a point where even slightly damaged fiber is acceptable. You can see in this figure plastic optical fiber cable has large core diameter, as compared to single mode fiber cable. Thanks for watching. If you have any problem let me know in comments. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And click on the bell icon.